Back in 1998, Apple released the original Bondi Blue iMac G3. Along with its radically different design came a very polarizing mouse design. Some people hated it, and others really liked it. I personally thought they were the coolest thing since sliced bread when I was a kid. So, let's take a step back in time and take a look at these very colorful rounded mice. I managed to buy all of these as a lot, and as far as I know, these are all the colors that were available. Back in the late 90s, most other computer mice still used a PS2 connection. The round Apple Hockey Puck mice, on the other hand, used a standard USB 1.0 connector, giving you the ability to have the mouse plugged directly into the keyboard. The round Hockey Puck mice replaced the existing, more traditionally shaped ADB mice that came with Apple's older pre-iMac and PowerMac computers. Ergonomically, you instinctively want to hold it like a traditionally shaped mouse. However, the rounded shape means you have to hold it with two fingers, one on either side. Having one mouse button continued Apple's tradition of objectively less functional desktop computer mice. The translucent housing allows you to see right through to the two-toned mouse ball below. The charges that came with early iBooks also resembled these mice somewhat. On the flip side, you have the mouse ball. Yes, these mice used the good old trackball method to determine X and Y axes mouse movements. You'll find that these mice are nowhere near as accurate or precise compared to modern optical and laser mice. Who needs RGB lit mice when you can literally plug every color of mouse into the computer at once? Surprisingly, this actually worked very well. And the mice have an acceptable amount of accuracy. While gaming, these mice are passable. They will work, however I would definitely recommend cranking the sensitivity, as there is not a lot of travel. The lack of a secondary mouse button does hurt their functionality somewhat. So, how much are they worth? People seem to be willing to pay up to $30 for one of these mice. The graphite and blue ones seem to be the most common, therefore the easiest to find. I paid just $60 for all six of the ones I'm using in this video. I see these becoming somewhat of a collectible in the future as they are such a cool looking oddity. So, I would definitely recommend buying a few if you find them cheap. If you want to use one of these as your primary mouse on your own computer, I'd say there are plenty of other better options to go with. Thanks so much for watching. I'm currently working on a few videos at once, so expect them soon. Anyway, on screen are some of my latest videos if you want to check them out. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, and consider subscribing if you want to see more. I'll see you next time.